And once you repent and turn to Christ, you can have freedom from sin. Hank, Hank, turn to Jesus. Hank, Hank, give your life to Jesus, okay? Give your life to Jesus, Hank, okay? Hank, he's, he's telling you sorry. He's saying he's sorry, that's all. Yeah, no, no, he's just saying he's sorry. Hank, listen, I really care for you, sir. Please turn to Jesus, you can have forgiveness of your sin, Hank, okay? I watched a video of you a while ago from, from uh, I believe, uh, Nico or whatever it is. I can't remember his name. Morals without money. But listen, I, I saw your story. It really touched me, and I really want to see you forgiven, Hank. But you got to repent and believe on Christ. Okay, he's the one who can free you from your sin. I'm the guy who just gave you food a little while ago, okay? But I'm preaching you to the bread of life, and that's Jesus Christ, Hank. Will you take this and read this later, Hank? Okay, once you sober up, okay? I know you've been down here for a long time, Hank, but the Lord wants you delivered. He wants you free from this, Hank, okay? He wants you free from this. I, no, 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 you're not, no, no, you're not disrespecting me in any way. I just want to talk to you, that's all, Hank. Hank, you got to know that you're, that, you're, that you're not doing well, okay? It's, and Kensington's going to kill you. You're going to die down here. You don't want that, right? You don't want that, Hank. Please get right with the Lord. Turn to Jesus Christ. Give your life to Christ, Hank. Repent of all sin and turn to him in faith, Hank. Right. Turn to Jesus, Hank, please, okay? Give your life to Jesus, Hank. He's the one who can cleanse you and free you and forgive you. He'll be that father that you might not have anymore. That's, that's Jesus Christ. Turn to him, Hank, okay? Turn to him. Okay, you're not falling into me, so it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I care for you, Hank. Turn to Jesus. I... Hank, 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 Hank. Come on, Hank. Wake up. Hank, wake up. Hank, Hank. Come on, Hank. Yo. Hank. Hank. Come on. Hank, Hank, come on, buddy. Wake up, wake up. Yo. Does he look like he's breathing? Hank, Hank, come on. Hank. I'm a to you. Hank. Come on. Hank. 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 Is he breathing? He's breathing? You saw him breathing? Okay. Yo, Hank, Hank. Come on, Hank. Hank, you okay, buddy? Come on, Hank. Hank, wake up, buddy. Come on. Hank, come on, buddy. Wake up. Hank, let's go. Hank, come on, wake up, buddy. Come on. Are you like a dad? Hank, come on, Hank. Hank. No, I don't. I don't think you got to spray him yet. No, I'm I don't. Not. How long has he been down? He's been down for about ten minutes. But uh, but he's breathing though. He's breathing. You gonna hit him with an Narcan? Hey. Hank, Hank, come on, buddy. Yo, we got See, I can go back to my car. I got it in my car. Do you want me to go get it? He's good? You still want me to get it or no? There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. Amen. 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 
Because you know how it is, we hit him with Narcan, it's going to take five times the amount for him to get high again, right? You can OD again. And then when they get high, they have to take how much the amount, you know, so we got to make sure it's the right, right? They won't be able to get high because Narcan is the antagonist. Yeah. So it'll stop him from getting high for a while. We all don't want to do it. So no matter how much they take, it won't even matter? Oh, okay. Because he'll keep No. Yeah. <clears throat> but hey, you know me, Hank. <laughs> All right, you're awake. All right, praise God. You're awake. Praise God, you're awake. Praise God. You're awake. Yeah, you were down for about 10 minutes, Hank. Uh, no, we all care about you. We care about you. You can still be breathing OD and too, Hank. It's just we care about you, that's all. There you go, you got your brownie. All right, I gave you those brownies early. All right, let me keep preaching here. Frank, at least you're awake. Uh, I don't have any money on me, Frank. I have no money. I gave you two bags of food earlier. Yeah, I gave you two bags of food, they're in your pocket. Give your life to Jesus. He can take those drug addictions out of your life. He can take that temptation out of your life. He gives you the power to overcome temptation in your life. He did it for me. I used to be addicted to a lot of things in my life, but Jesus freed me. The Bible says, he whom the Son sets free is free indeed. John 8, 34, 36, he who sins is a servant of sin. And a servant shall not abide in the house forever, but a son shall abide forever. Therefore, if the Son shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. And that comes through Jesus Christ. That comes through repentance and faith in Him. That comes through being born again of the Spirit of God. He can free you from not just your drug addictions, but from your lying, from your fornication. He can free you from, He can forgive you of all your past sins. That's the amazing thing about the blood of Jesus. He lived a perfect, sinless life. He never lied once. He never looked with lust once. He never cussed once. He was God's perfect sacrifice for sin, for you and I. And now for you to enter into his grace and mercy and forgiveness, you must repent. Change your mind about your sin life. Change your mind about the ways you're living. Call upon in the name of the Lord and he shall save you. He will forgive you. But... The Bible also says, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. If you truly come to Christ, if you're truly born again, you don't continue on in the same sins and have forgiveness. You're deceived, the Bible says. The Bible says, do not be deceived. Don't be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit God's kingdom. You can be a former drug addict. You can be a former liar. You can be a former thief. When you repent and turn to Christ, he can free you from all sin in your life. Will you believe on him today? Will you confess and forsake your sin and turn to Jesus in faith? the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Don't wait another day. Judgment day will come for each and every one of us. Judgment day will come. The Bible says in Hebrews 9, 27, it is appointed for man once to die. And after this, the judgment. You don't go to a place called purgatory. That's at the Roman Catholic Church. That's false. Once you die, you will be judged, heaven or hell. So choose this day whom you'll serve. Will you continue to serve sin, which leads to death, or obedience, which leads to righteousness? And that comes through faith in Christ. Turn to the Lord today. Be forgiven of all sin. 
That's an amazing thing. The blood of Jesus Christ can wash you, wash you whiter than snow. It can wash away your sin. You shake your head and walk by saying no, because you love sin. You love your porn. You love your lust. You love your cigarettes. You love your drugs. What about loving Jesus? I understand people have wronged you in your life. And you're looking for an outlet. You're looking for something that makes you feel good. And I get it. Getting high makes you feel good for a little while. But Jesus is the one who can change you from the inside out. Jesus can change your heart. I'm here to tell you, I'm a testimony.